right friends welcome back to 15th week question and answers part 1 we are going to discuss 32 questions in part 1 and 32 questions in part 2 let us look at the first question united nations sponsored international day of sport for development and peace international day of sport for development and peace was observed on april 6th in the year 2013 United Nations took a decision to observe April 6th as the International Day of Sport for Development and Peace and this year it is the second year in succession. That means first year was celebrated during 2014 and this is the second year. Incidentally, the same day was nominated by the Table Tennis Organization to celebrate World Table Tennis Day. So, please don't forget. International Day of Sport for Development and Peace as well as World Table Tennis Day both fall on April 6th. Right? Look into the next one. We all know that the Supreme Court has recently struck down Section 66A of IT Act. We deliberated in detail the pros and cons of striking down 66A of Information Technology Act 2000. And the question here is, the petition in this regard was filed by a law student, Shreya Singhal filed the petition and based on her petition and other petitions filed by some other individuals, Supreme Court recently struck down Article 66A of IT Act as the Supreme Court felt that it is against the freedom of speech and expression guaranteed under Article 191A of Indian Constitution. Right friends, look at the next one. The World Table Tennis Day was observed on for the first time. This World Table Tennis Day was observed on 6th April. That means, this is the first year World Table Tennis Day was observed and from now onwards, every year, April 6th, to coincide with United Nations Day of Sport for Development and Peace, Table Tennis Day will be observed on April 6th. Right? Look at the next one. 12 year old Mariam Siddhiki, a class 6th student won the Bhagavad Gita contest among almost 4,500 students organized by ISKCON International Society in Mumbai. In Mumbai, in the contest organized by ISKCON International Society, Mariam Siddhiki, a class 6th student, won the contest on Bhagavad Gita by scoring 100 out of 100 marks and at the same time, she is also conversant not only on Quran but also on Bible. Right friends, look into the next one. For an experiment verifying the effect of Albert Einstein's theory of relativity. All of you are well aware, theory of relativity was discovered by Albert Einstein during the early 20th century and in the experiment this boy named Pratap Singh verified the effect of Albert Einstein's special theory of Albert Einstein's theory of special relativity Indian origin boy in United Kingdom Pratap Singh got Institute of Physics prize Pratap Singh Indian origin boy is studying in Cambridge and this Institute of Physics is situated in London and this boy got the Institute of Physics prize. Right? The contest was held in Birmingham in England. Look into the next one. Dash was reappointed the chairman of IPL Governing Council. He is Rajiv Shukla. He is reappointed Previously, in the year 2013, he resigned subsequent to spot fixing scandal and 
now he was reappointed as the chairman of ipl governing council please don't forget the name he is shri rajiv shukla look into the next one eighth edition of ipl was inaugurated at the salt lake stadium in kolkata this eighth edition of this indian premier league sponsored by pepsi and it was inaugurated in salt lake stadium in kolkata in the presence of a glittering ceremony of hrithik roshan farhan akhtar anushka sharma and several others right friends the cricket season this season will last for around 45 days right look at the next one sri lanka has recently signed an agreement in nuclear cooperation with pakistan sri lankan president maithripala sirisena visited india subsequently he visited china now he visited pakistan and he signed an agreement in nuclear cooperation in fact sri lankan president wants to have cordial relations with his neighbors and asian countries that is the message and he do not want anybody's monopoly over sri lanka right recently sri lanka signed an agreement in nuclear cooperation with pakistan right friends look at the next one name the state where mayors are protesting against the nagar nigam amendment bill 2015 which proposes to divest administrative and financial powers of mayors what is the meaning of this question recently a bill was introduced in the state assembly the name of the bill is nagar nigam amendment bill if this law is implemented then the powers of mayors both administrative powers and financial powers will go away that means the powers will be limited once this bill is passed that's why mayors are protesting against this bill and the state in question is uttar pradesh right look into the next one name the place where a judge of high court his name is jaypal jumped into sukhna lake and saved the life of a girl who attempted suicide recently a girl attempted suicide when mr jaypal the judge of uh, high court was uh, going for a morning walk he has seen a crowd of people assembled there and no one was uh, dare to venture into the waters and immediately the judge jumped into the water and uh, saved the girl who attempted suicide and name of the judge is jaypal and the lake is sukhna lake right let us move on to the next question name the state which was affected by the sand storm habub in the gulf region habub the meaning of habub habub is basically arabic word the meaning of habub is severe sand storm severe sand storm is common in gulf countries but recently maharashtra state was also affected due to the severe sand storm from gulf areas maharashtra was also affected recently due to habub habub means severe sand storm which normally occurs in gulf countries friends look at the next one state bank of india and hdfc bank reduced their base rate to 9.85% and icici became the bank with the lowest base rate at 9.75% i would like to explain a bit about base rate base rate is the rate below which banks should not lend to any customer except some exempted cases base rate is the rate below which they should not lend to anyone except some exempted categories right so the lowest base rate is now icici bank with 9.75% recently subsequent to the monetary policy several banks reduced their base rates because 
the governor of reserve bank raghuram rajan was not happy with the banks not producing base rates and subsequent to the monetary policy statement during the first week of april several banks reduced their base rates and now icici bank with base rate of 9.75% is the bank with the least base rate in the country right friends look at the next one the world's largest industrial technology fair hanover messe will be held in hanover from 13th to 17th april the prime minister narendra modi is supposed to inaugurate this fair and this hanover messe fair is the largest technology fair in the world and this place hanover is situated in germany friends look at the next one ngt national green tribunal recently stated that diesel vehicles more than 10 years of age would not be permitted to ply in delhi it created lot of furor national green tribunal with an intention to prevent the pollution recently stated that diesel vehicles older than 10 years would not be permitted to ply in delhi the state government is contemplating to approach the tribunal as this type of legislation may affect the lives of several people from environmental point of view it is absolutely fine but if you look into the socio economic aspect of the people in this country this enforcing this type of legislation may be little difficult friends look at the next one for all emergency services troy recommended troy is a telecom regulatory authority of india it recommended only one phone number in united states of america for all types of emergencies you have only one phone number that is 911 in india also telecom regulatory authority of india recently recommended one emergency phone number for all services like uh, police uh, fire ambulance in india we have different numbers police is 100 fire is something 101 ambulance is 102 or 108 so from now onwards telecom regulatory authority of india recommended 112 on the lines of united states of america's 911 has one emergency phone number let us see whether the government is going to implement it or not name the country whose parliament has recently passed anti terrorism law recently malaysia passed this law anti terrorism law there is apprehension from several quarters that it will take away common man's freedom of expression and liberty but the government says it will not affect common man it is only against terrorists but if you look at the experience all over the world wherever this type of law anti terrorism law is enforced normally it takes away the liberty of freedom of speech or expression and the country recently passed anti terrorism law is malaysia friends look at the next one name the public sector undertaking which divested 5% of its shares this week what is divestment divestment is by maintaining the control of government ownership selling the shares of the public sector companies what is the meaning of public sector company the meaning of public sector company is the government ownership is at least 51% if i am the owner of 51% of a company i can take managerial decisions it is my company similarly if government owns a minimum 51% in a bank or any other company it is called public sector company that means the final decision making process lies with the government so government wants at least 51% but the irony is several public sector undertakings have 90% 80% ownership of government 
because of the complete ownership of government up to 90% or 100% it leads to monopolistic tendencies inefficiency lethargy and if you divest some stake 5% 10% that means 5% or 10% of the shares will be sold to private parties government will get money at the same time it will lead to improvement in the efficiency because the stakeholders will be diversified with that intention governments undertake this process of divestment and recently rural electrification corporation limited sold 5% of its shares and government got roughly 1500 crore rupees right friends look at the next one recently snap deal has purchased free charge all of you are well aware about free charge it is a mobile transaction platform recently snap deal purchased free charge for 400 million dollars snap deal purchased free charge for 400 million dollars the ceo of snap deal is kunal behal and the founders are kunal behal and rohit bansal and by purchasing this mobile platform basically free charge is into charging of mobiles the age group whoever are accessing free charge is almost 17 years to 30 years by purchasing this snap deal will have access into the lower age group and it will have diversification of its e-commerce platform right royal dutch shell it is the oil company based in the hague in netherlands recently announced to acquire british oil and gas firm bg group bg group is headquartered in united kingdom recently royal dutch shell announced that it will acquire british oil and gas firm bg group for a value of 47 billion pounds in the oil and gas industry the values are normally very high recently royal dutch shell announced that it will purchase bg group headquartered in united kingdom for 47 billion pounds look at the next one as per the sebi circular fine for not having women director on the board for the listed companies what is the meaning of listed company the company listed in the stock exchanges is listed company the company listed with a stock exchange is listed company and in the board of directors as per the sebi directive one woman director should be there at least one woman director in the board of directors of a company the deadline already expired on 31st march now sebi stated the company whichever does not have women director in their board has to pay a penalty of rupees 50000 rupees 50000 penalty will be imposed and at the same time if they are not able to ensure a women director by june 30 the penalty will increase to 50000 plus rupees 1000 per day from july 1 Fifty thousand plus rupees one thousand per day from July first, and from October first it will be five thousand per day. Please don't forget these figures. So for each and every listed company, having a woman director is a must. And as per the reports emanating from press, at present almost one hundred and sixty-eight listed companies do not have. women director in their board friends look at the next one ayan pravin who has died recently is associated with booker prize foundation for several years booker prize foundation we already deliberated in detail in the previous classes 
बुकर प्राइस मैन बुकर प्राइस एंड मैन बुकर इंटरनेशनल प्राइस आर गिवेन बाय दिस बुकर प्राइस फाउंडेशन एंड आयन ट्रेविन इज एसोसिएटेड विद बुकर प्राइस फाउंडेशन फॉर सेवरल इयर्स एंड ही डाइड रिसेंटली द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन द लाहौर हाईकोर्ट हैज रिसेंटली ऑर्डर द रिलीज ऑफ 2008 Mumbai terror attacks mastermind in the year 2008 several persons were died in the terror attacks in Mumbai and the mastermind behind these attacks is Jakeer Rahman Lakhvi recently Lahore High Court ordered his release because the Pakistan government is unable to frame charges against him the pakistan government is not able to file charges against him that's why the lahore high court recently ordered the release of uh, jakeer rahman lakhvi and india strongly protested to the development not only india united states of america and other western countries also strongly protested to the in action from pakistan government which failed to frame charges against jakeer rahman lakhvi friends next one the union home ministry has recently suspended the registration of a non governmental organization the name of the organization is greenpeace under fcra what is fcra foreign currency regulation act the organizations whoever are getting foreign funds have to follow foreign currency regulation act recently home ministry has suspended the registration of ngo for 180 days as they involved in alleged activities of anti development campaigns across the country in view of the alleged anti development campaigns across the country the home ministry recently suspended the registration of uh, greenpeace greenpeace is getting funds from foreign countries and government is very critical about uh, some organizations whoever are getting funds from foreign countries and government feels that some of the agitations of these organizations are anti national or you can say anti development because most of the times these organizations look into environmental concerns but government wants there should be a balance between development and environment right look into the next one name the state government which backtracked on its earlier decision of mandatory screening of state language films during prime time slot of 6 pm to 9 pm Maharashtra government recently gave order that during the prime time of 6 pm to 9 pm it is mandatory to show marathi films but because of the opposition from several quarters including shobha day government backtracked its decision and now it says one show during 12 noon to 9 pm is enough so the state government in question is maharashtra in this case let us look at this question recently drdo defense research and development organization has testified dhanush missile dhanush missile it is a surface to surface missile recently it was tested from a ship two things i would like to tell you it can carry a nuclear warhead of 500 kg it can carry a warhead of 500 kg and second thing is the range of this missile is 350 km please don't forget these two figures friends look at the next question china plans to build 540 km rail link already china built a rail link to tibet now through the everest mountains it wants to come up to the border of nepal that 540 kilometers rail link will pass through 
a tunnel under Everest mountain which is the highest mountain in the world with 8848 meters height so here the answer is china is going to link tibet with the nepal through a tunnel below everest and this 540 km rail link will be completed by 2020 as stated by china next question government wants to reach the target of universal vaccination to 90% by 2020 Recently government started coverage of vaccination through the program called Mission Indrathanush At present the coverage of vaccination in the country is 65% government wants to increase it to 90% by 2020 that means every year they want to increase 5% coverage every year at present it is 65% the government wants to cover 90% by 2020 that is the goal of mission indra dhanush 20 sandalwood smugglers were recently gunned down in the forest area popularly known as sesha chalam forest area which is famous for sandalwood in andhra pradesh near tirupati recently 20 sandalwood smugglers were gunned down by andhra pradesh police and this created lot of controversy and as all this 20 people belong to tamil nadu state wide protests were erupted across tamil nadu region right the answer here is tamil nadu look into the next one supreme court dismissed the review petition of death sentence awarded to akub abdul razak memon Akub Abdul Razak Meman in connection with 1993 Mumbai blast several people lost their lives in the Mumbai blast which occurred in 1993 and subsequently supreme court awarded the death penalty Akub Abdul Razak Meman and now the review petition filed by him was rejected by the supreme court friends look into the next one Recently border security force has inducted two MI17 helicopters These MI17 helicopters were built by Russia Right look into the next one name the city which was selected as the earth tower capital in India based on the energy efficiency and the actions which lead to climate change these things are decided earth tower capital in countries global earth tower capital in india earth tower capital is now thane last year it was coimbatore and now this year thane was declared thane near mumbai was declared as the earth tower capital in india and globally seoul in south korea was declared as the global earth tower capital please don't forget this too look into the last question of uh, this part one april 7 was observed as world health day april 7 world health day please don't forget the theme for this year is food safety food safety is the theme for this year's uh, world health day friends let us wind up this first part and please do join for second part have a nice day thank you